Howdy y'all, Cracker Jack here. Today I'm dipping Copenhagen Mint. Yo. Now I know it's been a while since I've talked to y'all like this. Happy. Excited. Well, today it's going to be one of those days where I'm just going to kick back throwing a big old chew and uh, reminisce. Now I'm sure y'all are wondering what I'm reminiscing about. Well. Do you remember my second video? Think real hard. Think real hard. I believe it was called Random Stuff. I think so. Now think real hard because I think y'all remember it. A few of you at least. A few of you have been around since then. Uh, Alright. And in that video, I showed... A dip tower. My dip tower. Five cans. It had five cans. Now, I remember, and I was watching some of my older videos earlier, and uh, I think I did it last night. I couldn't sleep. I was, you know, freaked out. I was worrying about a job interview today. Didn't go by well, by the way. <laughs> And, uh, and I was worrying, and I thought, well, you know what? Let's just kick back and watch, watch some old Cracker Jack, you know. Reminisce, whatnot. Well, I did. And I found one of them. Uh, I can't even fucking remember what it's called. The fucking lighting was shit. You know, that whole ordeal. And, uh, well, I went back and watched it. And I said in that video, I said, uh, I'm just one of these days when I just get hundreds of cans. I'm going to go back and watch that video, you know, just to be happy. And today, I have exactly 123 cans in my dip tower, and I'm going to let y'all see it. So just give me one second here. Look at that damn shit. You see the way it's stacked? Here's from the side. See? That is my dip towel. Hundred and twenty-three cans. God dang, that blows my mind, y'all. That blows my fucking mind, you know. God dang. Yeehaw, one of the truckers. Now, another thing I'm sure y'all remember from the good old days of Cracker Jack. I used to give out a lot of uh, shout outs to Midwestern Dippin' and Midwestern Dipper and Daily Chew. Well, I ran into him a couple weeks ago. I sure did. I ran into him. Uh, Supposed to hang out with him here in a you know maybe a couple weeks. In a couple weeks I'll hang out with him. Maybe I can get him on the channel. Y'all can meet him for yourselves if you all ain't if you don't watch him. Which if you don't watch him, what the fuck's wrong with you? You need to go watch that some some bitch. And I get him on here. I fucking. Grand old time at the Opry. I don't know. I I I only got like about three and a half hours of sleep last night. Don't fucking judge me. No, three and a, three hours and fifteen minutes. That's about what it was. <laughs> oh, I just barely missed four twenty, and I looked at the little little timer. Right there. It's probably about right there, isn't it? Or is it at the other end? Whatever, I don't fucking care. Uh, <laughs> on my computer, it's right in the middle. And it tells me exactly what my recorder is. So, yeah, it says 420. 
Fuck you, don't judge me. Uh, I'm in a good mood today. I don't know why I had the worst fucking morning. I don't know why I'm in a good mood. Every time I record, I just usually get into a good mood. I know the last few videos have been shit. I mean, I, I did a shitty fucking review on Copenhagen Mint. I actually love it to death. I was in a bad mood. Uh, same with the pouches. Uh, I'm usually not in a bad mood. But some sometimes I get those days. Uh, pouches taste exactly like the mint. I did finish the pouches. I'm not gonna lie. I did finish them because I didn't want I, I didn't want to give them away because you know I wanted to keep the can because you know that's a different thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a hoarder. God uh, damn it. <laughs> that's gross. I'm sorry, Dip God and Sock God. I got a bunch of chew on my sock. You know, I was I went back and watched that video. Uh, I was the second one in the bus, I believe. It was the second one in the bus, and I'm sitting there and I'm talking about the Rebel Flag. I think it was just called either Rebel for Life or the one after that. And I kept fucking talking about that fucking spider. I'd like to apologize for that for getting my, you know, getting off topic a little bit. I know I don't look at the, I know I didn't look at the camera enough, and I know I probably still don't. I know I kind of look like, oh, hey guys. Yeah, I know I do that a lot. I don't mean to. It's, uh, it's a habit, I guess. So you just did it again. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a habit. I don't, it's hard to look people in the eyes, and technically, I'm not even looking at you in the eyes until I do this. And now I'm looking at you, and you, I can see your soul. Uh, you haven't been chewing enough. Your soul told me you haven't been chewing enough. You need to pack, dip, and spit more. And I know I'm not using my mud jug. My mud jug's full, and I'm too fucking lazy to clean it out because I'm a lazy piece of shit and y'all know that. Uh, my computer's about to die. Hold on. Just a moment, poor saber. It's like the only Spanish I know. Poor favor. I know that's not even the right way you say it. Poor favor. Uh, puto. Yeah, I, man, I've missed being on fucking Cracker Jack, man. I miss being Cracker Jack. I've been doing a lot of shit with my other channel. Uh, I've been, uh, all kinds of shit, man. It's been fucking crazy. Uh, we, we were recording non-stop that entire fucking week in Wyoming. And we still barely got enough footage to make the video as long as it was. It was fucking ridiculous. I mean, we, we worked fucking hard on that shit. I didn't even get any... I can't believe I didn't get any fucking footage of the hot springs. Uh, that's what I wanted to get footage of. And I, I every time I went to the hot springs, I forgot my phone and my camera and shit at the fucking RV. And, like, every time I went over there, I'm like, fuck! And then i like, oh, well, I'll just get in the water. <laughs> I ain't gonna walk back in the fucking snow without even getting warm first. <laughs> You know, when you think of hot springs, you think of like a hole in the ground with hot water in it, and it's natural. That, isn't that what you think of? Yeah, that's what I thought of. No, it wasn't. It was a fucking concrete pool, and then the bottom of it, like the walls were concrete, and then the bottom of it was just sand and rocks, and then there was hot air coming up through the bottom. But I thought that was too sophisticated for a mountain hot springs. And I was, I think we got a little bit of footage of the snow, of the uh, sledding down the mountain. We took a big ass tire. We took a big ass, uh, what was it, a tractor in or two. And we rode it down the mountain to kind of slick out the uh, track that we were going to slide down on the sleds. And when we did that, it made it all bumpy, all rigid and shit. Like, you know those slides you go down on, on a, what do they call it, amusement or water parks? And they're kind of like bumpy and shit. 
Yeah, it was like that, and I fucking hit that fucking sled full fucking speed. I was leaning back with my boots in the fucking front of it, and I was going full speed, and I hit those bumps, and I fucking launched in the air and fucking wiped my ass out. I think we got it on film, but uh, I can't get the footage. It's kind of corrupted, so. Yeah, I fucking wiped out. God damn. My face went in the fucking snow, knocked my hat off and shit. I lost one of my hats. Uh. It sucked. It sucked. But it was fun. I love flying through the air until I hit the ground. There's about four feet of fucking snow on that mountain, man. I know I'm annoying because I'm happy, right? Yeah, a lot of people say the people that are happy are annoying. I disagree. I disagree. Uh, let's see here. What else do I want to one of those moments where I forget what I want to talk about. Uh, I'm sure. I will think of it in a moment. Still ain't fixed my guitar string. Sitting over there. Still ain't fixed that motherfucker. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll tell y'all what happened at the interview. So... I was nervous, and I stayed up until about 4.30 in the morning, freaking out, because, you know, I'm bad at interviews, I'm bad at talking to employers, and, uh, or potential employers. Once I'm, once I'm working with them, I'm good, but when I'm trying to get the job, it's just fucking terrible, and, like, I went up there, and, uh, I stayed up until 4.30 in the morning, and I got up at 7.15. And I was fucking tired as hell. So I went back to sleep for about maybe another 15 minutes. No, it was probably about another 10 minutes. But I couldn't go to sleep. So I was laying there for 10 minutes on the couch. Just fucking wide awake. Couldn't do nothing. I was freaking out again. And then uh, I got up, drank a cup of coffee. Went to uh, about maybe 9.30, somewhere around there. I went to the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Ah, uh, fuck, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Taco Bell. I have an interview there tomorrow at like 2.30. And, uh, in the afternoon. Thank God. I went up there. Um, and I ate breakfast. I got like three grilled breakfast burritos. That, you know, cost me like, I think, three twenty six, dollars somewhere around there. And, uh, so I went up there and, you know, I ordered that and I ate, I think, two and a half of them and now I got full, so I just threw it away because, you know, whatever. Because I couldn't take it to the interview or that would look like I was a piece of shit. So, I did that. Then when I got done eating, I went over to the interview. Because I like taking my time when I'm eating my breakfast. Because I fucking love breakfast. That's my favorite meal of the day. You know. And I went over there. And god damn. Uh, this this dude. This little. uh, What's his name? I uh, can't even remember his name. I don't think he even fucking told me his name. Uh, He didn't even know who I was. The little Indian dude didn't even know who I was, man. I'm like, what the fuck? He goes, uh, what's your name? I said, Christopher Baker. He goes, okay, what position did you apply, apply for? I said, car hop. You know, I like, you know, going out to the cars and like, you know, giving them their food and getting the money and then, you know, making the money. You know, that situation. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys have been to Sonic. Um... Shit, maybe the town you're in even has a fucking Sonic with a drive through You know, that's... I've seen a couple of those. I lived in a town with one of them, and I didn't even know it had a fucking drive through You know, I, I went to that Sonic maybe three times a week, and I didn't even know. That's fucking real smart. Uh, uh let's see here. And I went up there, and, uh, what was it? 
and I was talking to him and told him I want to be a car hop. He said, okay, well, what makes you, what, what made you want to choose a uh, Sonic? And by that time, I was like, oh, fuck. I don't know. You know, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I don't even fucking know. You know? So then I went, um, well, you know, I just, I think uh, Sonic would be a good workplace. And, uh, you know, and I was kind of freaking out, you know. I wasn't showing it, but in my mind, I was freaking the fuck out. And the, you know those moments when you, when your mind is racing, but you're still talking normal, but you think you're talking all fucking crazy? One of those moments, and he kept looking at me weird, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm talking weird, you know? And uh, I said, uh, well, I think Sonic would be a really good workplace, you know? And uh, I like the idea of being outside and going to talk to people instead of standing behind a counter. And he's sitting, he was writing on his little notepad, you know. And he goes, okay, well, what makes you, uh, or, uh, what's it? Well, one of our top, uh, priorities with the car hops is you have to be good with people. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm fairly okay with people, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with people. If I wasn't okay with people, I wouldn't be able to sit here and talk to a camera. I'd get all freaked out, you know, I don't get freaked out when I'm talking to cameras, you know, I don't get freaked out usually when I'm talking to people, but this was a fucking job, you know, and like, I'm like, okay, I'm fairly okay with people, you know, I can talk to people, and he said, okay, well, are you, are you comfortable with handling money? I said, yeah, you know, I handle money all the time, and then he goes, okay, well, let's say, let's do a little, you know, thing here, uh, Let's say I'm the customer and you're the car hop. I say, okay. Uh, he says, okay. So I ordered a, let's say I ordered, I think it was a hamburger, a cheeseburger, and a small fry. And the total comes out to eleven forty-seven. and I gave you a $20 bill. What is my change? And my mind froze. I froze up. I, I couldn't even, I stood there for maybe a minute and I just thought and thought and my mind was racing so fast I couldn't even think it I said I apologize sir I cannot I cannot think of it right now I am nervous he said okay well if you're nervous talking to me imagine talking to somebody that you don't know every three minutes and I said yes but that's a different situation this is for a job you know and he said well it would pretty much be the same situation because if you couldn't do that you wouldn't be able to keep your job. So I thought, okay, well, um, I understand, I understand where you're coming from. And he said, well, how would you feel if I offered you the, the uh, opportunity to be a cook in the next few days? He said, well, that wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Uh, I'd still be behind a counter, but I guess I could do it. You know, I'm, I'm a fairly okay cook. Uh, but, I apologize. I have to get another. I have another interview tomorrow before I make any choices. And his facial expression changed like drastically, like just nothing, nothing on his face. And he goes, OK, thank you for coming in. He shakes my hand and walks away. Nope, can't have that job. I can already tell by the express by the, uh, you know, reaction. I realize I probably shouldn't have told him that, uh, you know, I had a, another, uh, you know, interview with somebody else, but, you know, I don't know, I just I had to tell him. I can't just be like, oh, yeah, sure, without even checking out the other opportunities that I might have. So, yeah, it probably wasn't the best idea to tell him that, but, uh <laughs> you know, whatever, but I guess, uh, you know, I probably should, Sonic probably ain't for me anyways, but I enjoy being on YouTube, that's what I want to do, but I know it's not a good idea to just jump into it and say, oh, I'm going to make millions, no, I don't do YouTube for the money, 
I do it to talk to you guys, but I would love to have a chance to just do this for a career. You know, I would have more time to record. I would have more time to upload. I can make my videos a lot better, a lot more entertaining for y'all. You know what I mean? Uh, I think, Adam, I don't make any money off of this channel. I make a little bit off the other one, I think, but, you, listen here, I think I uploaded, I don't even know, y'all would have to check, I would have to check, I don't even know how many videos I've uploaded on the other one, um, but out of the ones I have uploaded for the past five months, maybe, on the other one, I've only made about maybe 20-something cents, so, it's, you know what I mean, it's, It's, yeah, it's confusing. It's a confusing situation. Uh, so tomorrow, I'm going to go out and apply for, uh, or I'm going to go out and talk to the, you know, manager at, uh, what is it, Taco Bell, and I'm going to see how that goes. And hopefully it goes a lot better. How far are we into this? God damn, I'm already 20-something minutes into this. Fuck. 21 minutes and 15 seconds. All right, fun. Super fun. All right, what are we going to talk about next? <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, it took me a long time to explain all that. Uh, let's see here. No, 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 no. I don't know what else to talk about. Hold on. I got to show you all something. Now, I'm sure you all remember that time when I was talking about how they banned Dukes of Hazard. And how pissed off I was. They don't show it on TV no more because I fucking love that show. But, I got the first season on DVD. So I'm a happy mother trucker. I think I'm missing one of the... Nope, they're all there! They're all there! Yeehaw! I'm not probably going to watch these after I get off here, but... I've already watched them all, but I need to get the other seasons. I fucking love that show. Yeah. He eats, uh, what is it? Uh, eats raw liver and black coffee every morning. <laughs> Sorry. You know, uh, I can't believe my dip tower is growing that much. That's insane. When I left Texas, I think I had 40-something cans. And, uh, let's see here. And that was eight months ago? Seven months ago. Seven. Either six, seven. I, I left right after that video where I didn't upload for like two months. And I uploaded that last video, and I think I left that next week. And, uh, so it's probably been about six or seven months. But, uh, hmm. <laughs> I need to upload more, you know. Because I got to the point where I said, well, I've already tried most of the chews, and I don't really want to branch out that much, but I can still get on here and talk. I fucking love mint. I got to where I couldn't stand uh, uh, wintergreen anymore, because I'd, I'd been chewing wintergreen nonstop for a long fucking time. And I got to where, fuck, I can't fucking stand this. And then this came out, and I'm like, I gotta try this. So I got a whole fucking log, and it is fucking amazing. Of course, the mint does age, and it does get a weird taste after the can's been open for a few days. So, or the can's been cracked for a few days. So, but it's, it's fucking amazing. Uh, it tastes like you're fucking chewing on gum. Uh, I didn't mean to give a bad review. Uh, just in a bad mood. Uh, I didn't mean to say it the way I did. I did mean that the mint ages after a few days, but, you know, I was in a bad mood, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, life in Kansas. It's fucking crazy. 
uh, you know, cans ass. Uh, I want to move back to Texas. I want to go back to the bus so I can record in there. I love a little spot where I can just record. You know, I ain't in my bedroom. I ain't in my home. I'm just in a little spot where I can record. You know, solitude. And that's what I miss. And it really does suck that I can't buy a new fucking rebel flag. Because look at the motherfucker I got now, man. That motherfucker's all cut up and shit. You know, it's been, it was on the flagpole 24-7, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. And that motherfucker got shredded. What you gonna do? So, I wish I could get a new one. I really do. I don't know where to get one. I know a couple places on Amazon. Oh, one on Amazon. Uh, it's a rebel flag. They say it's not. You know, in the description it says, This is not a rebel flag. It's a fucking rebel flag. I love how they get by Amazon rules like that. I love it. Uh, I'm gonna order that one. Maybe. Maybe. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive than your traditional rebel flag, but that's just because, you know, uh, it's probably a little bit harder to ship. I'll get it, hang it up. Uh, probably, maybe, um, sometime next year I'll be moving back to Texas. Maybe. I don't know yet. I'm trying to work some things out right now. Uh. I don't know. I don't know yet. Depends on how everything goes. Depends on everything how everything goes. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass moving all my dip cans back by that time because you know I'm going to have at least 400 by then. So, I'd have a lot more, but I've cut back a little bit. Because uh, at the time, I think... By the time I left, I could go through a whole fucking can a day, which was expensive as fucking hell. And now I've cut back a little bit so it's not as expensive. I can make a can last maybe three, four days. That's the longest I can make it last, of course. But, you know, I try to make them last a little while. So I don't have to buy a log every fucking three, five days. So it's, yeah. I could go probably maybe a week and a half before I have to buy a new log. So it's not that bad. Uh, uh, let's see here. What else do I want to talk about? Huh. Uh, fuck. It has been an exciting fucking day, I guess. It's been a depressing day, but it's been an exciting day, you know? Uh, like I, I put in the applications probably for you know for uh Sonic and Taco Bell on the same day I put them in on the same day maybe 30 minutes apart from each other and about 3 hours later that same fucking day both places called me within 5 minutes of each other Okay, awesome. I wonder how many more I can get today. No, I didn't get any more, but that was the ones I did get, and it blew my fucking mind how many I got. You know, I'm like, God damn, this is fucking awesome, you know. I, you know, I couldn't believe that I'd gotten the callbacks within three hours. That quickly between each other. I'm like, all right, this is going to be great. I'm going to have this one of these jobs in the fucking bag and now I'm not so sure about that <laughs> you know uh, hopefully I can do better on the uh, Taco Bell and uh, if I can have that job maybe I can make some money fucking make a make some money and I can get enough money saved up to move back to Texas next year 
give me a little place, you know. So, got to hope. Got to keep that hope alive. You got to stay positive, you know, in, a, in desperate times. You got to stay positive and stay out of trouble. I had a lot more fun in Texas. You know, I had a lot more better times finding jobs. First off, I have to make the money to repay my debts here in Kansas. And then when I get back to Texas, I can repay my debts there. So I owe my grandma, I think, $125. So, uh... Cause you know, y'all knew I lived right next to her in the trailer. You know, I I used her water, I used her food. You know, uh, of course there were times when I bought my own food and whatnot. Uh, you know, I just gotta I gotta repay some money to her. You know, I gotta be the right, you gotta do the right thing. You gotta repay your debts. Uh. Unless, of course, you committed a crime, don't repay your debts, because then you go to jail, so. <laughs> I'm trying my best to stay out of trouble, though. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want to fuck up my life. So. I trim my sideburns. I ain't got no sideburns no more. They went all the way down there. They were almost connecting to my fucking chin hair. And, uh. I would cut them off today so I'd look a little bit more presentable. Didn't help much. I better get off here. This is going to be a bitch to upload. I'm already 32 minutes in. So anyways, I'll do a couple, I'll do a couple shout outs. Uh, Red Lord Boss, I believe is his name. That's my brother. That's his uh, gaming channel. Then of course, we got Midwestern Dippin'. Midwestern Dipper or Daily Chew. Uh, I would recommend watching Daily Chew. Uh, just preferred. Um, let's see. Northern Dipper. I don't think his, he has a channel anymore. I checked into him a couple weeks ago. and I didn't see nothing. Um, Central Dipper. I don't know. He's been kind of slacking. Uh, let's see here. I think it's about covers it. That covers it. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. And remember, you know, subscribe. You, you, you know, yeah, yeah, subscribe, man. Subscribe. Follow me on follow my page on Facebook. Links in the description below. And I will see y'all in the next video. Cracker Jack out.